certificate courses. Tangaza University College, teaching minds, touching hearts and transforming lives. Risen indeed, alleluia. In this Mass, we pray for a success canonization of Sister Anna Ali. We also pray for Betty Muyu, Lucia Mwenza, and Boniface Musieka, praying for special intention. Sing praise to our God, all you who fear God, both small and great, for now salvation and strength will come, and the power of his Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. The people say to Jesus, Lord, give us this bread always. This should be our prayer today. To which Jesus answered them, I am the bread of life. Whoever believes in me will never hunger. Let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly seen my thoughts and my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary ever by all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who opened wide the gates of heavenly kingdom to those reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, Pour out on your servants an increase of the grace you have bestowed, that having been purged of all sins, they may lack nothing that in your kindness you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Stephen said to the people and the elders and the scribes, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in hearts and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets did not your fathers persecute? And they killed those who announced beforehand the coming of the righteous one, whom you have now betrayed and murdered, you who received the law as delivered by angels, a and did not keep it. Now when they heard these things, they were enraged, and they ground their teeth against him. But he, full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. And he said, Behold, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. 
But they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and rushed together upon him. They then cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their garments at the feet of a young man named Saul. And as they were stoning Stephen, he prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. And Saul was consenting to his death. The word of the Lord. Responsorial psalm. Response. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Be a rock of refuge for me, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me for the sake of your name. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, I commend my spirit. You will redeem me, O Lord, O faithful God. As for me, I trust in the Lord. Let me be glad and rejoice in your mercy. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Let your face shine on your servant. Save me in your merciful love. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, secure from human scheming. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hand, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia. bread of life, says the Lord, he who comes to me shall not hunger. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, the people say to Jesus, Then what sign do you do that we may see and believe in you? What work do you perform? Our fathers ate manna in the wilderness. As it is written, he gave them bread from heaven to eat. Jesus said to them, Truly, truly, I say to you, it was not Moses who gave you the bread from heaven. My Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is that which comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. They say to him, Lord, give us this bread always. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger. And he who believes in me shall never thirst. The Gospel of the Lord. In many instances, the Gospel begins with this statement. At that time, 
including the gospel today. However, if you are keen enough, the gospel yesterday began in quite an unusual way, and it was put in bracket. After 5,000 men had eaten their fill, the disciples of Jesus saw him walking on the sea, end of the bracket. It is surprising that today the very people are demanding a sign from him. In that gospel yesterday, we heard that the next day, the same people, the multitude, they were looking for Jesus. And when they found him, they asked him, Rabbi, how did you come here? When did you come here? To which he answered them, Truly, truly, I say to you, you seek me not because you saw the signs, but because you ate your fill of loaves. A story is saying that these people who are seeking Jesus, they were more than those whom he had fed. And they say that they went and told others there is a feeding program somewhere. We have a man, you just sit around him. When lunch hour comes, he will lift up few pieces of bread, na tutakula, tutashiba wote. This is why today, they are coming more, and Jesus is saying to them, I know you are not seeking me because of the signs, but you are seeking me because you ate and you are satisfied. And this brings us to the following questions. And I beg to ask you, why are you here? God is good. A perfect response to this question would be, we are seeking Jesus. I don't disagree. I'm also seeking Jesus. And this brings us to a second question. Why are you seeking him? I'm asking you, why are you seeking him? For whatever reasons that you are seeking him for, it would be devastating to hear him say to you, truly, truly, I say to you, you seek me, not because of his signs, but because, because you ate and you are satisfied. We can interpret this to mean, it is like Jesus is saying to us, I know you seek me not for who I am, but because of the benefits that I give to you. Now, the challenge with seeking the Lord because of the benefits that we receive for him is that when the moment he declines to give that which we seek him for, we have no reason to worship him. We have no reason to seek him. We will cease believing in him. We will keep on complaining of un unanswered prayers and eventually we will find help from other sources including those that are ungodly. And this reminds me of a particular song that his lordship, Bishop Kamamoe, liked so much, Nitamini, by Israel Mboni. The artist sings, Najua utaniponya, na ata usipo niponya, nitamini tu. He goes on to enumerate a number of things that he expects from the Lord, and he says, even though you will not fulfill all this, I will still believe in you. This should be the spirit of those who believe in the Lord. That even, in, even if our prayers are not answered, we will have every reason to seek for him, to seek him. Because we are not seeking him because of the benefits that we receive from him. We seek him because of who he is. Dear brethren, we need to reevaluate our search for the Lord. Failure to do so, we only seek Him when we need Him. And that once our needs are met or not met, we have nothing to do with Him. This is why we are called to reevaluate our search for Jesus. The gospel yesterday ended with the following words Do not labor. For that food that perishes, but that which endures to eternal life. 
and which he says he will give it. Those who are listening to him, they said, what must we do in order to do the work of God? And Jesus answered them, and this should be our answer as well. This is the work of God, that you believe in him whom he has sent. And who is this that we are called to believe in? Jesus, who today says he is the bread of life, and that whoever follows him will never hunger. Jesus, the bread of life, never abandons us. This is the Lord that Stephen believed in, that even at the point of death, he never abandoned him. We heard that when Stephen looked up into heaven, he saw the glory of God and he saw Jesus standing at the right hand of the Father. This is the Lord we are called to believe in and whoever believes in him will never hunger. Stephen prayed and said, Into your hands, Lord, I commend your spirit. The very words that have been echoed by our responsorial psalm. Into your hands, Lord, I commend your spirit. I have a question to ask you. Into whose hands do you commend your life? If you commend your heart, if you commend your life into the hands of men, you regret it. If you commend your life into the hands of leaders, you regret it. If you commend your spirit and your life into the hands of our Kenyan doctors and the government, let me not commend. In the gospel today, the multitude say to Jesus, give us this bread always. Give us this bread always. This I pray that should be our prayer today, that may he give us this bread always. Dear friends, this bread is nothing else than Jesus himself. And I've mentioned, whoever believes in him, as the gospel concludes, we shall never, never last. Do you believe God is good? Do you believe? Are you hungry and thirsty? And what are you hungry for? What are you thirsting for? Don't you know that you are called to come to him? As prophet Isaiah, in Isaiah 55 verse 1 says, Come all who you are thirsty. Come to the waters and you will drink. Come without money. Come and eat what you want. Drink without pay. What prophet Isaiah prophesied is fulfilled in the person of Jesus Christ. Few minutes from now, we shall have an encounter with him, the bread of life, and the consecration. Call on him, and especially during the elevation of the Holy Eucharist, call on him, and your hunger and thirst will be satisfied. Amen. Number 274, number 274. Like the stars in the sky, like the waves of the sea, you are timeless and ageless and free. Take me now, Lord my God, take my heart. Take my body and soul, make me free. You are good, you are truth, you are God for all time. You are Lord of all men, you are mine. Take me now, Lord my God, take my
sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, the good of us, Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that this gift you bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross, and by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice for my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and His Grace, Philip Agnola, our Bishop, David, 
Simon Peter and Wallace, his auxiliary bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have placed you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not temptations, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, may this spirit of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ be in eternal life to our sins. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion hymn number 220, 220. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall not hunger. He who believes in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father draw him and I 
Save me, blood of Christ, inebriate me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O oh, good Jesus, hear me, within the wounds hide me, permit me not to be separated from thee, from the wicked for defend me, at the hour of my death call me, and bid me come unto thee, that with the angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen. If 
If we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with Christ. Alleluia. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you are pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. There is a special announcement here. We continue thanking God following the consecration of his lordship, Simon Peter Kamomoe. On Thursday 18 this month, Bishop Kamomoe will join us for thanksgiving mass for weekday Christians in all masses. Let us prepare to welcome, congratulate, and generously gift him. God bless you and your families. God is good. Be concerned of seeking not the consolation from the Lord, but the Lord of consolation. This is the Lord that Stephen sought. And even at the tail end of his life, he found him, he saw him sitting at the right hand of the Father. In whatever we go through, let us seek the bread of life, who says that whoever follows him will never walk in darkness. And whoever believes in him will never hunger. In all that we hunger and thirst for, he will satisfy all our thirst. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Our Mass is ended. Have a blessed day. Recessional hymn number 595, 595. En muchas partes del mundo, la mujer es tratada como primer material de descarte. Hay países donde las mujeres tienen prohibido acceder a ayudas para armar un negocio o ir a la escuela. Incluso en esos lugares soportan leyes que las obligan a vestir de una determinada manera y todavía es que están en uso en muchos países las mutilaciones genitales.
no les neguemos a las mujeres la voz. No les neguemos a todas estas mujeres víctimas de abuso la voz. Son explotadas, son marginadas. De palabra todos estamos de acuerdo que en el hombre y la mujer tienen la misma dignidad como personas, pero en la práctica eso no ocurre. Es necesario que los gobiernos se comprometan a eliminar leyes discriminatorias en todas partes y a trabajar para que los derechos humanos de las mujeres estén garantizados. Respetemos a las mujeres, respetémosla en su dignidad, en sus derechos fundamentales. Y si no lo hacemos, nuestra sociedad no avanzará. Oremos para que la dignidad y la riqueza de las mujeres sean reconocidas en todas las culturas y para que cese la discriminación que sufren en diversas partes del mundo. Capchin actually is contributing so effectively to the evangelization in the, in, the, in the Kenyan church. Remember on Good Friday we were together the whole journey. Remember the whole journey of the way of the cross. They were together, they were covering and even on, uh, on Holy Thursday they were still with us. Let us support it because we need it. The media people, other media people are so secular. They cover mostly the secular information. But the Caption TV will cover the religious, you know, messages, the gospel, the teachings of the church. So for me, I, I would encourage each one of you, let us give the moral support, material support, and encouragement so that they will continue to contribute uh, in the evangelization in the church, in the Kenyan church, not even the Kenyan church. Many people who are uh, outside the country, even in America and Europe, They watch Caption TV, even through the YouTube and Facebook, they watch, and so they are doing a wonderful job. Caption TV, Hongera Sana. Tumetoa kambali, bari tuko bari, na tunayenda wapi, bari. Endelea kutazama, Caption TV, huduma katoliki ya uinjilishaji. At the invitation of Father in Charge for the Richard Iro and the Parish Pastoral Council, Capuchin TV will join the parishioners of St. Joseph Catholic Church Tudor in the Catholic Archdiocese of Mombasa as they celebrate Golden Jubilee on Sunday, May 5th this year. This auspicious event will take place at the Pastoral Center in Tudor, Mombasa, starting at 10 a.m. The Holy Mass will be presided over by His Grace Archbishop Martin Kivuva of the Archdiocese of Mombasa as they commemorate the Golden Jubilee for the Richard Iro expresses gratitude saying, My special message in these 50 years of faith in St. Joseph Tudor Parish is that we thank God for this far we have gone as a parish. We all know the challenges which are now affecting us globally. The secularization, modernization is taking roots in the world and it is a very vital opportunity. As a parish that we are celebrating 50 years of faith, so I want to urge the parishioners of St. Joseph Chuda, let's remain united in faith. Let's propagate the unity of faith in all that we do. 
in all that we touch and in anything that we speak and to all those we meet let us instigate this faith that we have received as we celebrate these 50 years in our parish we believe and hope this faith that we have created this faith that we have cultivated will bear fruits and will always be there to show the humanity that we have come from far we are far and we are going very far and our lord jesus christ reminds us always that let's always work together for the purpose of love because he said in the book of john that all may be one thank you very much this momentous occasion will be broadcasted live on Capuchin TV and across its various social media platforms. As you commemorate your golden jubilee, Capuchin TV extends its warmest congratulations to all the parishioners of St. Joseph Catholic Church Tuda Mombasa for this remarkable milestone. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. Microfinance Bank imejitolea muhanga kwa kuwawezesha wa Kenya kupata fedha kwa urahisi ili kujenga rasilimali na kujiendeleza. Maisha ya jamii yamebadilika na kuimarika. Msingi wa jamii ni utulivu wa familia iliyoimarika. Ukiwa na mradi unayohitaji kuimarishwa, tuna utu. Karibu zungumze nasi. Caritas Microfinance Bank. Imarika, imarika. great future belongs to the creative learners. Unlock a boundless future for your child with the Catholic Parochial School. We are an institution that offers holistic education to the learners to ensure that they are fully formed to fit in the society. And our vision is to be a model school that cultivates love for lifelong learning, spiritual growth and exemplary moral values. This school was started with the intention of offering holistic education and the formation of the young one. And I am happy that over the years, the school has been able to achieve that. Our institution blends academic rigor with enriching co-curricular activities, empowering learners to realize their aspirations and emerge as exemplary members of society. We also offer co-curricular activities 
that in CBC are very much encouraged to participate. We offer Taekwondo, we offer chess, we have the school band, we offer swimming lessons, we offer table tennis, and we also participate in music and drama. All these have excelled to the national levels and we, ha we are proud of, of the learners and the teachers and also the parents for encouraging their learners to participate in these activities. We are rooted in spiritual, intellectual and character development. Our holistic approach fosters moral values, integrity and respect, nurturing students to not only excel academically but also thrive in their future endeavors. Tumepata zawadi nyingi hapa nchini katika county ya Nairobi kwa sababu ya nidhamu yetu. Watoto wetu ni watoto ambao wamefunzwa. Kwa sababu tunaelewa kwamba nidhamu ni kitu muhimu maishani mwa kila mtu. Ukiwa na nidhamu unaweza kutangamana na mtu yeyote pale nchini pia duniani kote. As a church and as a parish, we are so much involved in the formation of these children. We offer spiritual nourishment which include catechism, uh, masses every week and even chanting with them, counseling and confession as part of the catechism. In the school we have a qualified team for counseling and guidance and we come in to support them where we are needed as the clergy, not only just for spiritual matters. Being a church institution, we also offer help where need be. We have the association that gives help to the poor children who are the orphans and the needy in the society. Our dedicated team of skilled and passionate educators create a nurturing environment where children surpass their own expectations, guaranteeing a joyous journey of learning and growth. We have employed a qualified and a competent team of the staff, especially the teachers who journey with our young children. And this is in line with the CBC requirement and also the Ministry of Education. We begin with a step to convince the 9,000 miles are complete and all the steps are made for all the journey to make. Katika mitiani tofauti tofauti ambayo tumekua tukifanya ili ya KCP pia kipsea wanafunzi wetu wamekua wakito shule nzuri kabisa KCP wanafunzi wetu wameenda katika shule za kitaifa tajika kama Mangu, wengine wameenda Alliance, wengine wameenda Kenya High na shule nyingine nzuri zaidi na wale wengine wameenda shule zote nzuri. Last year our best learner went to Alliance Girls and then two followed went to Kenya High School. So we are the best school in Nairobi. Hawa ni wanafunzi ambao wamepitia mikono ya walimu waliojaa tajriba vile vile wazazi ambao wanawatunza na kuwafunza nidhamu ndipo watoto wetu waweze kuwa watu wazuri zaidi enroll your child with us today and pave the way for a flourishing future give us your child and you will not regret having brought your child to holy family basilica we have a conducive environment a secure one being the cbd of this town we have adequate security and we are able to take care of your child. Reach out to us at 0786-242-868 or send an email to catholicparochial at gmail.com. I encourage parents, especially those who are working around the town, it's so central. You can drop your child in the morning, even as you attend the morning masses here or go to the place of work. And then in the evening, you can be able to pick the child. The doors to the administration office remain open every working day within working hours. Visit us at the Holy Family Basilica in Nairobi capital. I'm grateful even for those who started. And above all, the, our Archbishop, who is the, per se, the father in charge of this parish. We thank even the sisters who are running this school, the little sisters of St. Francis, for their dedication to this mission.
Mama, I love you. Mama, I love you. Mama, I love you. Mama, I love Are you tired of dead-end jobs? Feeling stuck without a career path? It is time to take control of your future. St. Kizito Vocational Training Institute, your one-stop destination for technical courses since 1994, has got a solution for you. And the aim of the school was to take care of the, of the young people from the marginalized areas of, uh, of Nairobi. Who, are, who had finished school or they had dropped out of school and they did not have, the, their parents didn't have uh, maybe money to take them to university and other, and other, 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 other colleges. A number of them also were out of school, drop out of school because of uh, effects of drugs. So to help them not to, to, to engage in, in, in other other form of, form of uh, things that are not useful to their life, like maybe criminality and all these things. Owned by the Catholic Archdiocese of Nairobi, we have bagged 30 years of empowering unemployed youth from marginalized communities, churning out thousands of job creators to the market. We have uh, a number of, uh, number of courses, electrical electronics, motor vehicle mechanics, plumbing and metal work, Carpentry and cabinet making, catering, hair and beauty, and computer. We also offer short courses, defensive uh, driving, programmable logical controls, that is auto automations, and solar. Reap maximum benefits from our spacious departments, fully fledged with state-of-the-art tools for practical learning. Our school has been uh, involved mostly in what we call the dual training. Dual training is what people are calling the cabinet-based education. We, we, st we, had, we started this way back in 1994. So we have been following this model of uh, dual training where students study in school and they go to the industry. So it's like they alternate industry and school. So this is what has made our school to excel because most of the students who have follow followed this model, especially the ladies, they have uh, really success, uh, succeeded very well. Maybe within six months, someone is able to finish the course and, uh, and, and start, start working. So we are encouraging more young people to join, these, to join our courses. Whether you dropped out of school at any level or looking to upgrade your skills, St. Kizito Vocational Training Institute has got a course for you. Our requirements, we accept students from all levels of education. Those who have finished class 8, they have a place in our school. Those who have dropped high school, they have a place in our school. And those who have finished high school and they want to pursue their careers in technical courses, we have a place for, for them. You know, he's from Sudan, mm -hmm. and I, from Southern Sudan. 
and I think he has not reached the level of the Kenya Kenya, Kenya education, but he has a, he, he's here studying. You know, and that's what we were saying. We have also this program of the dual training where students study in school and they go to the to the industry. So when you go to the industry, you are, you are more exposed and you discover your potential. So the school is very open. It's very open for anybody who wants to study. We we accommodate them. From automotive engineering to culinary arts and other technical courses, there is something for everyone at Saint Kizito VTI. I, the reason why I chose carpentry is because there's not a lot of people who do carpentry, especially for the guys. Mm -hmm. And it actually has a, mar a huge market. Mm -hmm. Yes, because I, first I was inspired to carpentry through internet design. So, through? Internet design. So, internet Italian, design. Italian design, the company. It's interior. Interior design. Interior design, design, design yeah. it's, it is also related to carpentry. Mm -hmm. It's almost the same field. So I decided to just do it wholly mm -hmm. because that is also a ground. And the best part, low fees for quality training. It is never too late to pursue your dreams. Since you want to demonstrate on this. We do exams, NITA exams, and uh, as you know, NITA, anybody can, can book exams and do the NITA exams. And also we have uh, the NEC, Kenya National Examination Council exams. So those who have uh, finished high school and maybe they, they want to, to start a journey in technical education, they have a place in our, uh, in our school. May 2024 intake is ongoing. Grab the opportunity now. Give yourself the chance to rebuild your career path with ease. Enroll in a course of your choice today. Visit our headquarters nestled along Mihoko Road in Githurai, Kimbo, Nairobi County. So we have two branches. The main branch is here in Githurai, Kimbo. And we have a branch in Roisambu, TRM Drive. Oppo, uh, behind the jewel complex. For inquiries, call our main campus on 0724-238-716 or our Roy Sambu branch on 0724-253-547 or email info at stkizito.ac.ke. You can also visit our website at www.stkizito.com. So we welcome all of you to St. Kizito. I promise you that many have passed through this education and they are, they are working, they are enjoying and they don't regret. St. Kizito Vocational Training Institute where you discover how to love work. soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Luke chapter 1 verse 46 to 47. Oh. 
Saturday, the 20th day of April 2024, is not an ordinary day for the Sisters of the Blessed Virgin SBV. On such a day, 50 years ago, Reverend Mother Giovanna Mora, the current Provincial Superior of the SBV Catholic Congregation, took her religious perpetual vows in response to God's call to serve in his vineyard. Oh yeah, oh yeah. In a momentous gesture, the parish priest of St. Camillus Nyamarambe Catholic Parish, Father Paul Cabito, along with the parish pastoral council and the entire Catholic community in Kisi Diocese, cordially invite you to the Golden Jubilee Home Thanksgiving Ceremony of Sister Giovanna Mora. The celebrations will commence at 10 a.m. in Kenyoro Village, Kisi County, preceded by Holy Mass officiated by the Bishop of Kisi Diocese, the Right Reverend Joseph Mairura Okemwa. <laughs> Welcome and let us unite with the Catholic faithful in Kenyoro village, Nyamarambe Parish, and the entirety of the Catholic Bishopric of Kisi to honor and celebrate the invaluable gift of religious life. Don't miss out on these vibrant and captivating celebrations. Capuchin TV offers an exclusive opportunity for you to participate in this event from wherever you are within and beyond Kenya through our television, YouTube and Facebook platforms simultaneously. Capuchin TV extends heartfelt congratulations to you, Reverend Mother Giovanna Mora, on your golden jubilee of religious life. Watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel. At the invitation of Father in Charge for the Richard Iroh in the Parish Pastoral Council, Capuchin TV will join the parishioners of St. Joseph Catholic Church Tudor in the Catholic Archdiocese of Mombasa as they celebrate Golden Jubilee on Sunday, May 5th this year. This auspicious event will take place at the Pastoral Center in Tudor, Mombasa, starting at 10 a.m. The Holy Mass will be presided over by His Grace Archbishop Martin Kivuva of the Archdiocese of Mombasa as they commemorate the Golden Jubilee for the Richard Iroh expresses gratitude saying, My special message in these 50 years of faith in St. Joseph Tudor Parish is that we thank God for this far we have gone as a parish. We all know the challenges which are now affecting us globally. The secularization, modernization is taking roots in the world and it is a very vital opportunity. As a parish that we are celebrating 50 years of faith, so I want to urge the parishioners of St. Joseph Tudor, let's remain united in faith. Let's propagate the unity of faith in all that we do, in all that we touch, and in anything that we speak. And to all those we meet, let us instigate this faith that we have received as we celebrate these 50 years in our parish. We believe and hope this faith that we have created, this faith that we have cultivated, will bear fruits and will always be there to show the humanity that we have come from far. We are far and we are going very far. And our Lord Jesus Christ reminds us always that let's always work together 
for the purpose of love because he said in the book of John that all may be one. Thank you very much. This momentous occasion will be broadcasted live on Capuchin TV and across its various social media platforms. As you commemorate your golden jubilee, Capuchin TV extends its warmest congratulations to all the parishioners of St. Joseph Catholic Church Tudor Mombasa for this remarkable milestone. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity channel.